In an exclusive interview on CBS Sports Kickin' It, Carly Lloyd, one of the biggest stars in women's soccer, opened up about her remarkable journey with the national team. However, what makes this conversation so intriguing are her incisive and candid words about the current state of the team. Since her retirement in 2021, Lloyd has been an outspoken voice, sharing her perspectives boldly. Her recent criticisms resonate deeply, revealing a consistent concern about something much deeper than just tactics and game strategies. The big question is, what lies behind Carly Lloyd's words about the mentality of the players on the U.S. women's national team. This interview promises to spark discussions and reflections on the current state of the U.S. WNT, so hit that like button, because here, we have daily updates for you. One of her direct assessments? She believes there are many things fundamentally wrong with the U.S. WNT program and argues that a solution will require more than hiring a new coach and changing the team's tactics, as she expressed in her interview with CBS Sports. The champion mentality that we've had throughout the year years, from the inception of this team, that dog mentality, you've got none of that, she said. Character, respect, technically, tactically, you can be excellent and have a coach who steps in, but if you don't have all those other things, there's no winning. I look at the US women's national team, Julie Ertz just left, but aside from her, I don't see one player that has that mindset. Later, she acknowledged that the World Cup co-captain, Lindsay Horan, exhibits a similar mentality. Nevertheless, she said, there aren't many of them that can. For Lloyd, this reflects a stark contrast with her time on the team when a multitude of players had that determination. And Lloyd doesn't care about how people respond when she speaks the truth, or at least that's what she claims. I lived and breathed it, I feel comfortable and confident to sit here, to be on TV and say what I said because I walked the walk, she said. I did it every single day, from start to finish, for 17 years straight. Whether I was a starter or, at one point in the 2019 World Cup, for a period of three years, I was a sub, so it didn't matter. I thought it was my obligation to pass that down from the previous generation of players. Regarding the 2023 World Cup, Lloyd criticized American soccer for adjusting the hotel room thermostats to the desired temperature levels of the players before they arrived. She also once again criticized the players for wearing sunglasses and dancing before the games. If I saw that, if I were part of that team, I would raise hell and go directly to the players and tell them to take their sunglasses off and stop dancing, she said. For her, these actions were a sign that the players take every moment for granted rather than loosening up or standing firm in one of the biggest moments of their careers. Instead, Lloyd questioned their resilience. And it has to be hard, she said about playing for the US women's national team. I believe all these players want to come in, want to feel comfortable, want to express themselves. It doesn't work like that. Just do your job, come in, put the work in. Lloyd once again takes everyone by surprise with her strong statements about the current state of the ascent. Do you agree with her, fans? Leave your comments here, it's always good to know your opinion. I'll be back with more news at any moment.